funny. So, like, how many scenes did you have to do until you, like, finally figured out how to, like, give a I was – I have a really good friend, and he – he shot a lot of my first couple of scenes and he was like, what? Like, you are so bad at, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I understand that you're supposed to on it, but like, you know, like how was that? Yeah. Yeah. So it took me, it took me a while to, you know, I mean, it took me a long time to, you know, get, good I, I was, was gonna say did he offer and... to you like no, let you no, practice no, on no, him no, he's no, like but... let me help you elsa out of the goodness of my own heart i'm gonna <laughs> teach you how to give up and we're just gonna keep practicing until you know what you're doing mick shot my third scene mick blue mick blue for okay. zero tolerance and okay. i remember because i had never been with a guy that was uncut and i was like shit I'm going to, like, rip his foreskin off because I don't know what I'm doing. So I, like, looked at him and I was like, hey, I don't know how to, like. So he <laughs> sat there and he showed me how Aww. to. So that was sweet, I guess. And now he. Mick's com- a really nice guy. Yeah. And now he compliments my and tells me that I'm, that I'm really good at them. So, <laughs> But it took some time. To really. That's amazing. Research, too. I just, like, looked up, you know scenes and whatever and I just paid attention to what they were doing because I, like I didn't that. understand that whole spit situation yeah because in my mind that didn't really make sense to yeah, like yeah, yeah have a lot of spit going on and yeah. whatever I remember I've learned a lot about from the adult entertainment industry myself and I remember um watching I think it was Taylor or Taylor rain scene like we were while we were shooting it and she was getting like the to gag the back of her throat because there when you when you gag on a cop brings up like this phlegmy kind of spit that's like at the back of your throat and it's a better lubricant than just your regular spit and it kind of like gets like more fluid going in your mouth so you're able to lubricate more and so you're able to give like a sloppier blow and we all know that sloppier blow job better blobs. so right. i remember like learning that from porn and being like oh okay that makes sense and then like practicing that at home myself and now i'm like now i'm a pro yeah now you're like gagging all the time yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but now I don't really have much of a. I'm not a good deep throater, but now I, my gag reflex isn't there anymore just because mm-hmm. it's just not. And well, you practice and you learn to, to open your throat. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to get my tonsils taken out though because the back of my throat is really square. Because <laughs> I can only like deep throat in certain positions, and I try to like really open it up, but yeah. it's just like square. It square. Does it, yeah. So you need to like I would love that if you just went to a doctor, you're like, hey, I need to get my tonsils out because I've been I trying. can't deep throat very well. So. I've been trying to get strep a couple more times just so because <laughs> they'll take it out if you get strep a lot. So I've been trying to do well, it. Well, just go to the AVN show a couple more times <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, and yeah. I'm sure that you'll end up getting strep throat and yep. then you can have an excuse to give your tonsils out and then you can finally win that best blowjob scene <laughs> yeah, I know, that I know right? you've been after. <laughs> That'd be crazy if I won a best oral. Yeah. After sucking so badly. Think sucking. Oh, yeah, sucking right. Sucking so badly. <laughs> oh, the jokes are just forever. Oh my god. Um. Wow, that's hilarious. You know, it surprises me. It's interesting how people can come into the porn industry and actually learn about them and like how it can be this place where you can learn so much about sex and so much about yourself and kind of do it in a safe environment. I remember Nicole Aniston told me that she had never masturbated before she'd done porn. And so like she really learned about herself in porn and also Akira said the same thing. So it really never masturbated. No, that she just didn't like know what she liked in porn. She didn't know that she liked being submissive. She didn't know like what she liked and she learned so much about herself in porn because it's, you know, it's kind of like a safe environment. You're, mm-hmm. you know, with people that you trust for the most part. Usually you work with, like, a lot of the same guys. Um, you know, it's a small community. And you can really, like, explore what you like and what you don't like. And you're free to say yes or no to certain things. And there's a lot of communication that happens about sex and porn that doesn't happen in real life, you know. Because, like, for me, before I start a scene, I'll, and if there are performers that haven't worked together, be like, okay, Tell each other your do's and your don'ts. Like, I like being slapped in the face. I don't like being slapped in the face. Don't choke me. Don't spit on me, but I'm okay being spanked. Like, whatever. And then sometimes, too, you know, I don't know if you ever do this, but I'll tell girls, like, if they're kind of new or maybe, um, you know, they don't know their their, uh, 
counterpart so well. I'll be like, you know, what you can do is you can kind of like tap them on the thigh or something yeah. where the camera can't see it if they're going too hard or something like that. That's and what I was taught. They'll when know I, to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. When I first got in, they, they, uh, you kind of, I don't know, like a guy should be able to read your body language. So if I'm like, you know, yeah. something and I'm tapping you, then, yeah. you know, they usually, and yeah. if not, then you just like kind of scoot away. Yeah, and or you go can go back to you know. Yeah, or you can call cut. You can yeah. be like, "Hey, hold on a second. But and it's just interesting because we never do that in our real life. You know, no. like when you start having sex with someone, you don't sit down and say like, "Okay, this is what I'm okay with. This is what I'm not okay with." And I mean, granted, that's kind of an awkward conversation to have with somebody, and it kind of maybe kills the romance. But there's something that's really great about that because then. It, it can allow for a much more comfortable sexual experience because everybody's right. different, you know what I mean? And, of like, course. everybody likes different things. And um, I don't know. Sometimes I just wish that we could communicate better in real life like we do in porn. There's something to be oh, said yeah. for that. Because, I, I mean, I used to never give blowjobs. I was always in cowgirl. Like, I used to just, like, this is how I would have sex. Mm -hmm. Go in. No foreplay. Mm -hmm. Get on top and then done. Like yeah. no switching around and yeah, yeah, and having actual fun. And have you learned like that? There's a certain position or a certain thing that you like that you didn't know before you got into porn. Yeah, I used to never do spoon or like I love to lay on my stomach. Mm -hmm. So what is that lazy doggy? Yeah, that's my favorite. So, but you I learned guess. that from being in porn because you had never really done that position before. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I always switch my favorite position, I guess. Interesting. Before I used to like doggy. Now I, you know, I'm not so much a doggy fan. Mm hmm. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Every day it's something new that I like. I'm yeah. like, oh, spoon's my favorite position today. Cowgirl is. Or yeah. The only thing that you definitely, at least for me, I never did in my personal life was reverse. Oh God! Every girl hates reverse cowgirl. I don't because it's just basically it. like you it's have to just, just do squats. It's so it's like weird so to me. Uncomfortable. Oh my it's, God! Yeah, it's so weird to like flip around and then like squat and then the person just laying down and you. Yeah. You know? Do you look back at the person because you can't really because the camera's right there yeah. so they want to see your face and it's, it's literally really disconnected. Yeah, literally reverse cowgirl was created for porn. It's so that you can show your body off to the viewer. Like nobody I feel like in real life really does that. Like scissoring, but you know, in yeah, lesbian scenes yeah, like yeah. no like real girls actually scissor. You don't think? I don't think so. I'm going to ask a true true lesbian. I've talked to a lot of lesbians. They and don't scissor. Pretty much everyone has said that they don't scissor. I'm sh okay. there's look, there's exceptions to everything, but Across the board, most girls are like, no, dude, that's it's fucking stupid. Maybe with a toy, if you put like a Hitachi. Yeah, yeah, toy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, would be different, that. I think. But just the plain old scissoring, it's usually like not no. not a thing. People are not into it. The porn, you know, <laughs> fantasy or yeah. whatever. whatever. 